with the class for today. Yeah, vamos a empezar con la clase de hoy. Um, la participación del, de los homeworks va a ser luego, ya terminando la terminando esta parte del de la parte de la clase. Yeah, at the end of the class. Before we end the class. A ver. Well, today we start with we ignite. The purpose of this class is to, to write a short paragraph about your home. You have to, to write a short paragraph about your home. To get this purpose, we have to, to do many activities like listening, writing, and speaking activities that we work in this opportunity. In this first exercise, we have to listen uh, an audio about two characters. These two characters are Philip and Claire. One of them has um, a house and the other has an apartment. You have to listen to people talk about their homes and match each person with a picture, Claire and Felix. What is the home of, of Philip or Claire according to the pictures? and the description that you listen. Ustedes van a escuchar dos descripciones y le van a mencionar cuál de ellas está relacionada a Philip y cuál a Claire. Quién tiene the house y quién tiene el apartment. Yeah. Quién es el, who owns the, the house and who owns the, the apartment. Yeah. And after that, when you finish this activity, you have to listen again and you have to check all these items are related to Claire or are related to Philip. ¿Cuáles de estos, de estas habitaciones o, o muebles están en la casa o departamento de Claire o en la casa o departamento de Philip. Yeah. You have to check, but you have to listen twice. Vamos a escucharlo dos veces. Yeah. Expansion listening. Claire. Hi, I'm Claire and I'm from Canada. I live with my family in Vancouver. There are four bedrooms in our home, one for me, one for my brother, Stuart, and one for my parents. The fourth bedroom is my father's office. In my bedroom, there's a big wardrobe, and I have a desk there too, so it's good to study. My favorite room is the living room, because I like to watch TV. I guess our house is pretty big. Philip. Well, hello everyone. My name is Philip and I live in Oxford. I live with my sister, Amanda, and her husband. So there are three people here. There's a small kitchen with a table and four chairs. In the living room, there's a sofa and two chairs. There are two bedrooms. My favorite room is the bathroom because it's big and I'm a singer. So I like to sing in the shower. It's a small apartment, really, but we like it. You. Okay, you listen again, please. Expansion listening. Claire. Hi, I'm Claire, and I'm from Canada. I live with my family in Vancouver. There are four bedrooms in our home. One for me, one for my brother, Stuart, and one for my parents. The fourth bedroom is my father's office. 
in my bedroom, there's a big wardrobe and I have a desk there too. So it's good to study. My favorite room is the living room because I like to watch TV. I guess our house is pretty big. Philip. Well, hello everyone. My name is Philip and I live in Oxford. I live with my sister, Amanda, and her husband. So there are three people here. There's a small kitchen with a table and four chairs. In the living room, there's a sofa and two chairs. There are two bedrooms. My favorite room is the bathroom because it's big. Oh, excuse me, sorry. I put again, sorry. Expansion listening. Claire. Hi, I'm Claire, and I'm from Canada. I live with my family in Vancouver. There are four bedrooms in our home, one for me, one for my brother, Stuart, and one for my parents. The fourth bedroom is my father's office. In my bedroom, there's a big wardrobe, and I have a desk there too, so it's good to study. My favorite room is the living room because I like to watch TV. I guess our house is pretty big. Philip. Well, hello everyone. My name is Philip and I live in Oxford. I live with my sister, Amanda, and her husband. So there are three people here. There's a small kitchen with a table and four chairs. In the living room, there's a sofa and two chairs. There are two bedrooms. My favorite room is the bathroom because it's big and I'm a singer. So I like to sing in the shower. It's a small apartment really, but we like it. You. Okay. What picture is about Claire and what picture is about Philip? And teacher, I think um, Claire lives in a house and yeah. Philip lives in an apartment. Yes, that's right. Claire lives in a house and Felix in an apartment. Yes, letter A and letter B. Four bedrooms. Who has four bedrooms? Claire or Philip? Claire, teacher. Claire. 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 Yeah, that's good. Two bedrooms. <clears throat> Philip. Philip. Uh -huh. An office. Claire. 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 Uh -huh. A big wardrobe. Claire. 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 A small kitchen. Philip. 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 Philip, yes. A sofa. Philip. 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 Yeah, that's good. A big bathroom. Philip. 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 And a desk. Claire. 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 Yeah, that's good. These are the answers. Now we have to to check some items that we have in any of any room that our homes or apartment. And in the second picture, you have some rooms of our house or maybe an apartment. You have to listen and check some of these items to recognize the number. We have to recognize the number of these appliances. ¿No? Estos electrodomésticos les va a mencionar un número. And according to the rooms of the house, too. ¿No? También les va a mencionar. A ver, vamos a ver what numbers are related to, to the appliances. Unit 7, page 50. Expansion vocabulary A. One. Dryer. Two. 
Microwave oven. Three. Washing machine. Four. Vacuum cleaner. Five. Dishwasher. Okay. What numbered is dishwasher? Five. Five, teacher, five. Number five is washing machine. Three. 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 Microwave oven. Two. Uh, two. two. Number two. Um, vacuum cleaner. Four. Four. Number four. four. Okay, number four. Yeah, that's good. Now you check the places of the house, the rooms of the house. You have to listen and check it. Unit seven, page 50. Expansion vocabulary, B. One, balcony. Two, dining room. Three, garden. Four, hall. Five, garage. Okay. What number is garden? Three. Five. I know three. Number three. Three. Uh, three. Number three. Garage. Five. 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 Uh-huh. Balcony. One. one. Number one. one. Uh-huh. Number one. Dining room. Two. 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 Mm. Hall. E. Four. No, four, four. Three. Four. So sorry. Yes. Number four. Okay, no problem. And you have the answer, no? Number three, number five, number one, number two, number four. Or number five, three, one, two, four. Different appliances, different rooms in our house, in our homes, or maybe in our apartments too, no? Maybe in our apartment are small rooms. Now you have an interesting reading that we have to listen and we have to read. This reading is related to, to the house of Judith, Judith's house, but this house is special because it's a houseboat, no? it's una casa bote. Uh, she lives in Amsterdam, she lives with her husband, Lars, and her two young children. One of them is Ruben and the other is Kim. No, tiene dos hijitos. Kim and Ruben, no? And Ruben. And she describes the parts of their of their house. She describes uh, what appliances and furniture she has in each room. No, maybe if she has a living room, or maybe she has a dining room, a bathroom, or three bedrooms, you no? Know? And the furniture that she has in the living room, you no, know? and in the kitchen, you no, know? and maybe she mentions that she likes her garden, you know? she likes the plants that she has in that garden. Okay, you have to listen this and after that we have another activity. Unit seven, page 51, expansion reading. This month, we asked Judith Visser about her interesting home in Amsterdam. Hi, I'm Judith and my home is a houseboat in Amsterdam. I live here with my husband, Lars, 
and our two young children. It's a great home. There's a living room, a dining room, a bathroom, and three bedrooms. In the living room, there's a red sofa, three chairs, a TV, and a coffee table. It's a big room. Our son, Ruben, and our daughter, Kim, like to play here. In the kitchen, we have a washing machine and a dishwasher. The kitchen is small, but it's not a problem because we eat at a big table in the dining room. There's a garden, too, with a lot of plants. My husband and I are artists, and the garden is our favorite room. It's easy to live here, and all our friends like to visit. They say it's an amazing home. Unit 8, page... Okay, we have to... We have to review this part, no? We have to check this reading. We have to check this reading or read again to answer these questions. I have, for example, uh, you have the, the text and you have to write if it's true, false or don't note, no? You have to write letter T, letter F, or letters DK, no? You have to answer the sentences or you correct the mistakes in that case, no? For example, Judith's husband's name is Lars. That it's true. That's true, yes, that's a key, that's true. And there is a shower in the bathroom. There is a shower in the bathroom. There's a shower. Decay, no? There is a shower in the bathroom. No nos menciona específicamente el bathroom, no? And it specifies, no. It specifies, specifies the living room the kitchen, the dining room, and the garden. No se especifica, no? It doesn't specify. Ruben is Judith's daughter. False. False, yes. There is a dishwasher in the kitchen. Yes, that's true. That's true, yes. There is a big kitchen. I do know. Yes, don't know. Mm. Yeah, it specifies the kitchen is a small, but it's not a problem because we eat a big, we eat at a big table in the dining room. Yes, it's false. Here, number five, false. There is a big kitchen. No, there is a small kitchen. There are a lot of plants in the garden. True, true. yes, that's true. Judith's favorite room is the living room. And uh, that's true. Mm, in false. that case, it's false because, because it's the garden. Garden. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, because it's the garden. 
They live near Kim's school. Don't know, I think. I don't know. <laughs> don't know, no? We don't know. <laughs> yes. Don't know, no, it doesn't specify. Yes. Now we have to to have Dios that is related to to you. Similar to to the last to the last class, we analyzed the examples when are positive. No, when are positives, but uh, when it's something that is negative, uh, it doesn't specify extensus. You have to remark that the use is in a plural way. Uh, when we talk about more than one item, you can say there aren't shirts. There aren't shirts, but if I talking about one item, you know, I emphasizing um, this item, I can say there is an alarm, there is an alarm. I can use there aren't or maybe there isn't. We have to, to use this. When do you use there isn't? In a singular or plural case? Singular. Singular, yes, you see this part. When do you use there aren't? Singular or plural? Plural. Plural. Yeah. Okay. We have to, to remark this. Maybe when something is positive, there is. When something is negative, there isn't. If we are talking about one item, no? Emphasizing one item. But if I talking about more than two things, I can use there are or there aren't. If there are, if there no exist, if there no exist, um, we can use there aren't, no? there aren't, there is some, depending on, on the quantity. Nosotros teníamos un trabajito, un report from the last week similar to this, but now we have another homework about this. This is an speaking time. In this speaking time, you have a questionnaire. This questionnaire is to interview you and your partner. You have to complete the, the answer and after you interview your partner, ¿no? Primero nos entrevistamos, respondemos, y luego vamos a hacer el de nuestro compañero. For example, I have a home, ¿no? Your home. Y tengo two types of questions. Is there a coffee table in the living room? Yes. Uh, is there a wardrobe in your bedroom? No. Is there a mirror in the bathroom? Yes. Is there a small stove in the kitchen? No, I have a big stove, maybe. Is there a bath and a shower? No, I have a shower. That's just a shower. Is there a big sofa? Yes, of course, because we are a big family. 
Are there any plants? Yes, I love the plants. Are there any pictures? Yes. Are there any clocks? Of course, yes. Are there, are there any bookcases? Yes. When I finish my answers, I continue with my partner. No? Similar to this, similar to, to this exercise. We have to answer your partner's question. When you finish your partner's answers, when you yeah, when you finish your partner's answers, you have to report. You have to report your partner's answers. This is my partner, she's Valeria. In her home, there is a coffee table in the living room, and there isn't a wardrobe in her bedroom. There aren't plants and pictures. There are sun clocks in the living rooms, and there are in bookcases in the library, ¿no? Entonces, una vez que terminamos de, de responder, o nuestro compañero termina de responder, nosotros lo que vamos a hacer to the next class is report. Is reporting your partner's answers. Lo que sus compañeros responden, ustedes lo van a reportar. Similar al ejercicio que que se dejó la semana anterior, ¿no? ¿Me dejo entender en esa parte? Yes, teacher. Ya, yeah. pero esto nos va a quedar like a homework, ¿ya? Yeah? Esto va a ser like a homework. Y hoy día vamos a hacer también las presentaciones de los que voluntariamente hayan eh, realizado la actividad, ¿no? la anterior. Pero primero vamos a hacer el, el otro exercise. Now, I have the writing part. ¿Ya? Esto nos queda de homework, ese es el speaking, pero to the next, this is for the next class. Yeah, este es para la siguiente. Lo que sí vamos a trabajar ahorita, in this moment, es el writing. ¿Qué nos pide el writing? You have to write about your home. You have to look at the study guide to help you. This is the study guide. ¿no? Esta es la guía que vamos a seguir to write the description of our home. Pero nos piden que cumplamos estos cuatro requisitos. Write a kind of home you live. Maybe a small apartment, a small house, a big house, or a big apartment. Add the number of rooms and list them. For example, if in my house there are five rooms, I can mention, no? Two bedroom, one living room, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Yeah. The paragraph three or the sentence three is related to the items of each room. Each room has some furniture, some items. Cada habitación tiene artículos, tiene muebles. ¿no? Entonces, yo voy a mencionar about my bedroom, puedo decir a big wardrobe o a big closet, a desk, a bed, a TV set, o... For example, I have a mirror in my bedroom. No? And number four is to add details. For example, what is your favorite room? My favorite room is the garden. Or maybe uh, I like the living room because I watch TV every day. Entonces, esta va a ser mi guía. Debo tener estas cuatro partes, estas cuatro ideas, the four ideas. I have an example here. 
For example, I have this text, no? Uh, I live in a small apartment y está relacionado al par one. There are five rooms in my home. There are two bedrooms, there's a living room, a dining room, a garden, a bathroom, and a garage. Y esto está relacionado to the, the item, to the item number two. Item number three, related to this. In my bedroom, there's a big bedroom and there are two lamps. If I have some details, my favorite room is the garden. I love it. Entonces, voy a seguir este parámetro. This study guide. Any questions for this activity? ¿Se entiende la actividad? Yes, teacher. Sí, lo vamos a hacer. Ahorita lo voy a, voy a colgar el archivo para que lo podamos hacer en el, en el Word compartido, así como los anteriores, y poder... Eh, a ver, vamos a poner... This is... yeah. este... Sí, te escucho, hijo. Eh, no, nada, mis, solo que pensé que eh, pensé que este, iba a ser tarea, iba a ser tarea esto de acá. Ah, ya. Yeah. No, en este caso esto sí lo vamos a hacer en clase porque este es el, el, el propósito de hoy, ¿no? Escribirlo. Vamos a ver cómo están los, los textos. Esto sí lo vamos a hacer en un archivo compartido. Ya, esto lo vamos a hacer en un archivo compartido. Le voy a poner para poder editarlo. Oh, oh, a ver... No, persona que tenga el link. Y ya. Copiar. A ver. A ver, vamos a ingresar a ese link. Enter to that link. Y en ese link justo van a encontrar el example, ¿no? Van a encontrar el sample y van a seguir. Entonces yo colocaré, ya veo que alguien ha accedido. Sí, ya vamos, number four. Entonces voy a colocar name and last name. Eh, como todos son de civil, ingeniería civil o civil engineering. Y la sección, ¿no? Y comienzan a redactar su texto. A ver, vamos a tomarnos unos 10 minutitos mientras que vamos editándolo y de ahí compartimos. Si hay alguna duda, no duden en... Bueno, vale la redundancia, ¿no? No duden en, en preguntarlo. Pero tenemos que acceder al link, ¿ya? Accedemos al link. Veo que varios han ingresado ahí. 14 people. 15. Hay 15 personas. Muy bien. Very good. Observo a Anthony, a Tliz, a Christopher, a Jax, a Jesús, a José Luis, a Julio, a María Fernanda, a Pedro, a Rolly, a Rommel, Tatiana, Víctor, a Ismael. Y podemos comenzar a escribir nuestros textos. It's about you. Yeah? It's about your homes. It's about your houses. Siguiendo estos parámetros, ¿ya? Ajá, muy bien. Very good, Christopher, Anthony, Fernanda. Yes. You have some minutes to do that. Yeah, okay, Piscoya. A ver. El texto es un poco sencillo. It's not complicated.
Ok, estoy observando sus writings, la mayoría eh, están bien. Solo remarcar que a la hora que, que se colocan, por ejemplo, ¿no? los, los gerundios después de love, eh, I love washing, I love playing, ¿no? Y si quiero especificar una razón y quiero utilizar la preposición for, podría ser for studying, for pledging, for living, for reading, for washing, con alguien G. Pero si quiero poner for study, debería ser to study, ¿no? La forma infinitiva. O to watch movies, to, to live in a house. ¿Ya? Entonces, el uso del for y del to. Pero en términos generales, sus, sus writings están muy bien. Yo he ido observando aquí de algunos que ya hay, han ido terminando. Y me falta terminar de chequear pocos writings. Entonces, eh, entonces vamos a... A ver, ¿alguno de ustedes tiene su, su report de, del trabajo anterior? ¿Alguno de ustedes quiere reportarlo? De la parte del speaking. Hola, profesor, una consulta. Sí, hijo, te escucho. Ahí eh, listen to you. Ahorita, ahorita estoy en celular por ahí, es que no puedo, hacer el no puedo editar el documento. ¿Por eso se lo enviar por el chat de, de ¿Ya? la reunión? Sí, no te profesora? preocupes, no worry. Sí, 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 no, no hay inconveniente, hijo. De acuerdo, gracias, profesora. Ok, Alexander. A ver, aprovecho mientras de tomarles la asistencia, por favor. A ver, Acosta Carvajal. No, ya. Diogo, Diogo, sí, sí, lo he visto, Diogo. Diogo, sí está. Presente. Ok, Diogo, thank you. Altamirano Nureña. Presente, teacher. Teacher, sorry, I have one question. Yes, ten mi Diego, no problema. Ah, después de que termine de pasar lista, ¿puedo presentar mi trabajo? Ya, no hay problema, no te preocupes. Ah, listo. Ok. Ok, aquí lo voy a poner. Tu, 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 tu. Ya. Ya. Altamirano, ah, no, sí, sí está Altamirano, ¿no? Altamirano sí me dijo. Ángeles Coronado. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Arias con gacha. Arias. Arrostide. Ávila Atuncar. Ávila presente, profesora. Ok, thank you. Valdárrago Santos. Calderón. Disculpen, sino que tenía un problema para volverme a conectar en la, en la red. Justo le estaba avisando a sus compañeros. A ver, eh, Calderón Espinosa, me quedé con el Calderón Espinosa. No. Carrión Aguirre. Presente, profesora. Ok, thank you. Castañeda Muñoz. Presente, profesora González. 
Buenas tardes. Céspedes Álvaro, si estaba. Sí, sí está Álvaro. Presente, Chau, Céspedes. Ok, Álvaro, gracias. Chau, Carrenjifo. Chipa de la Cruz. Presente, profesora. Ok. Chipana. Presente, profesora. Ok, thank you. Ciesa Torres. Condori Mamani. Presente, profesora. Ok, thank you. Ok, Ludwig es Gómez, ¿no? Ya, ahorita, ahorita te anoto, Ludwig. Cotlina Robles. Plus Cornejo. Present teacher, Plus Cornejo. Ok, thank you, Luciana. Cuellar Fortón. Cueva Monzón. Guadalupe sí estaba haciendo... Present teacher. Ok, thank you, Guadalupe. De la Cruz, Marco. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Delgado González. Delgado Guamán. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Escalante, sí, sí, vía Escalante, estaba trabajando en su right. Escalante presente, profesor. Ok, José Luis, thank you. Fernández Guevara. Present, Miss. Ok, Helen, thank you. Fernández Lébano, Sebastián. Presente, profesora, buenas noches. Ok, buenas noches, good evening. Prado Pinedo. Soria mm, Peralta. Ya. Nos vamos a la sección B. Ah, ya. Quispe. Donald me dice Quispe. Quispe, 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 Quispe y Gómez, ¿no? Ah, ya. Gómez y Quispe, me dice. Ya, ahorita reviso el chat. Ferroa. Ah, ya, don Aire, aquí, don Aire da su texto. Ya, ok. Eh, Ferroa. Figueroa. Flores Dueñas. Xiomara. Flores Dueñas, Fuentes Quispe, eh, Gamarra Auki. Presente, profesora, buenas noches. Thank you, buenas noches, good evening. Gamarra Flores, no. Giraldo Muñoz. Girón Pillaca. Girón presente, profesora. Ok, thank you. Gómez Amaya también, me escribió en el chat. Ok. Ana, Anaisa Asensio. Guayanca Castillo. Profesora, disculpe, Guayanca presente. Ok, Guayanca, thank you. Hualpa Espíritu. Guamán, ah, María Fernanda, sí, sí, la vía María, sí está María. Ok, Rolly también, si no me equivoco. Guamán Gutiérrez. Sí, profesora presente. Ok, Huancas Castillo. Presente. 
Ok, thank you. Guarok Ortega. Presente, profesor. Ok, thank you. Guaita Calderón. Presente, profesora. Ok, thank you. Ingaruca Torres. Inocente Arostegui. Hanampa Tachawa. Presente, profesora. Ok, thank you. Juárez León. Laura Herrera. Lizárraga Bustamante. Presente, Char. Good evening. Good evening. Loa González. Presente, profesora. Ok, thank you. López Murga. Presente, good evening. Ok, good evening. Lobatón Orbeso. Machaca Campos. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Teacher, Lobatón presente. Ok, Lobatón, thank you. Guerrero Flores. Presente, profesora. Ok, thank you. Maguña Huerta. Maguña presente, teacher. Ok, thank you. Mamani Fa Falcón. Presente. Ok, thank you. Thank you, Valerie. Excuse me. Manuico Yupanqui. Medina Esteban. Mejía Vega. Mendoza Herbas. Presente, profesora. Ok, thank you. Mira, mira, mira. Montes Martínez. Presente, profesora. Ok, thank you. Nieto Morales. Presente, profesora. Ok, thank you. Olaya Minaya. Olaya, presente, profesora. Ok, thank you. Olorte Valverde. Orellano Salcedo, Ortiz Durán. Presente, profesora. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Good evening, Víctor. Pablo, Elba. Elba también la vi a Elba. No me equivoco. Presente, profesora. Ok, Elba, thank you. Pachas Valencia. Pachas. Peralta Navarro, Peralta Navarro, Pérez Finquín, Piscoya, ah, Piscoya, sí, Piscoya estaba escribiendo, me acuerdo en el writing. Sí, ok, thank you. Uh, Polo Valverde. Porras Jo, Quispe Donaire si estaba acá. Presente profesora Quispe Donaire. Ok, Alexander, thank you. Quispe Puma. No. Quispe Rima Alcedo. Ramírez Risco. Presente profesora. Ok, thank you. Ramos Rosas. Reyes Morales. Reyes presente, profesora. Ok, thank you, Jesús. Riojas Huancaní. O Huancaní. Riojas presente, profesora. Ok, thank you, Jordan. Rivas Quispe. Rivas presente, profesora. Ok, thank you. Rivera Loarte, me parece que sí, lo vi en el texto. Rivera Loarte. Sí, sí. Ok, thank you. Eh, profesora. 
profesor, ya puedo, puedo salir de la clase. Iba a exponer sobre la tarea pasada, pero surgió un inconveniente. Ya, Gabriel, no te preocupes. To the next class, we can continue, no problem. Ya, muchas gracias, Ay, profesora. Sí. Okay, Gabriel, thank you. Robles Porras. Robles presente, profesora. Ok, thank you. Rocha Rojas. I'm here, teacher. Rocha. Ok, thank you. Rojas Marzano. Present, teacher. Ok, y Niken, Niken Contreras, me dice Calderón Espinosa, es de la sección A, ¿no? Calderón, 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 ¿dónde estás? Ah, acá. Ok, Calderón. A ver, creo que Diogo estaba para exponer, si no me equivoco. Teacher, Niken present. Ok, Niken. Sí, 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 te anoté. Sí, Niken, sí, sí te anotado como asistencia. Gracias, thank you. Sí, uh, sí, sí me escucha, profesora. Sí, hijo, yes. I yeah. can listen to you. Ok, ok. Eh, ¿Expongo así hablando normal o presento mi, este, la captura que hice? Ya, si gustas presentarlo, no hay problema. You can share, ah, listo, listo. You can share it. Ok, Calderón, no problem. Too. Ok, teacher, voy a, voy a presentar pantalla. Ok, yeah. Diego, thank you. Eh, avisa si se ve. ¿Se ve? Yeah. Eh, ¿Todavía no? ¿Ahora? Eh, no, no me ha cargado todavía, no. No sé si lo ¿Todavía, todavía? No, todavía. ¿Los demás lo pueden visualizar o es mi internet? Tal vez, a ver. No, profesora, no se ve. No se puede ver, ya. Todavía. No se ve, profesora. Ya, ok. A ver. Comenzar ahora. Ahora sí. Ahora ya. sí ya. Ahora sí se puede, dice. Se puede ver. Así se puede ver. Ajá, yeah. uh -huh, exacto. Ok. Este, uh, well, uh, I can present my position to uh, my partner, Cuau uh, Guadalupe. We are from the section A. Ok. Guadalupe, uh, can you start, please? Hello, can you tell me your routine? Uh, ok. Uh, well, I take a shower because I am swimming in the pool for the morning. Where do you swim? Uh, in Mercedes Cabello. Uh, this place has a big bathroom and mirrors. That sounds great. Uh, yes. Uh, sometimes there is a free class for everyone. Maybe I want to go, but I need to learn how to swim. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. This is uh, all the positions. Uh, the second uh, word is a uh, uh, shower, uh, bathroom, mirrors, and grid. Es, usamos la conversación tres, el método tres. Ok, thank you, number three. Listo. Thank you, Diego Guadalupe. That's good. Uh, thank you, teacher. Ok. Teacher, disculpe, ¿puedo hacer la conversación con mi compañera? Ya. Ok, no problem. Ok, Claudia, ya, go ahead. Ya dejé de compartir, ¿no, profesora? Disculpe. Sí, sí hijo, ya dejas de compartir. ¿Se me escucha, profesora? Sí, 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 les, sí te escucho, Claudia. Ya, eh, con mi compañero Pedro. Voy a compartir ahorita Ok. Ya, profesora, ¿se escucha? Sí. Ah, ya, ya, este, ya, Claudia, ¿do you like your new apartment? Yes, I do. Look, 
secure supporter of the kitchen. Wow, that's a big stuff. Yes, and there is a big refrigerator too. Oh, that's, that's good. Are there three bedrooms? Yes, there are. The small bedroom is my office. I have my desk and bookcase in there. Well, this is a very good apartment. Do you want a roommate? I'm sorry about you. Okay, chicos, that's good. Alguien más por ahí? Someone else? Ok, entonces continuamos to the next class. We continue to the next class. Ok, okay teacher. Permítanme. Me... Teacher, ¿Alguien? teacher. Yes. ¿Podemos? I can. ¿Puedes poner con mi compañero, por favor? Ya, yeah, ok, go ahead. Ok, listo, pero no problem. Go ahead, okay. adelante. Ok, así nomás, Miss. No tenemos la PPT, pero sí hemos no, hecho igual no en te papel. Preocupes. No te preocupes, don't worry. Ok, un momento. Sí, sí, mientras, mientras mi compañero va, va preparándose, eh, tengo una consulta acerca de la tarea. Eh, la, que, la que ha dejado, ¿esa es tarea? ¿Va a ser o igual que esta se, en clase vamos a participar? Van a participar, María, conforme, eh, por ejemplo, así como ahora, los que desean ir participando van a ir voluntariamente presentándose. Ok, dice. Ok, you're welcome, María. Ok, I, let's begin with this. Hi, you seem to be lost. Can I help you? Uh, yes, please. Is there a museum near here? Oh. Yes, there are motion across from the park. And is there an aquarium in this city? Yes, there is. It's near the motion. It's very nice aquarium. Great. I have one more question. Are there any amusement parks? There aren't any amusement park, but there are a huge water park. You have been very helpful. Thank you so much. Okay, that's all, Miss. Okay, thank you, Christopher. Teacher, and uh, me and my partner, Pedro. Okay, Emmanuel, go ahead. Pedro, este, ¿está? Yo empiezo, yo empiezo. Yeah, do you like your new apartment? Yes, I do look. Here's a photo of the bed. Wow, that's a big bed. Yes, and there's a big wardrobe too. Oh, that's good. Are there three bedrooms? Yes, there are. The small bedroom is my office. I have my desk and bootcases in there. Well, this is a really nice apartment. Do you want a roommate? Yes. Sounds great. That's all, teacher. Ok, thank you, Manuel. Profesora, yeah. una pregunta. Por si acaso, por si acaso, nomás este, anotó también el nombre de mi compañero con quien expuse. Justo te iba a preguntar, please, Sofer. Niken, uh, teacher, Niken. Con Niken, ¿no? Nike. Yes, yes. Niken, ya, yeah. a ver, a ver, dame un minuto. Yeah. Teacher, mi compañero y yo. A ver, please, 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 can you repeat again? Porque, a ver, estamos con Christopher and Nicken. Ya, yeah. de alguien me he olvidado, Lorenzo yes. and Emmanuel, si no me equivoco. Sí, Nicken y, y yo expo, expusimos, Miss. Ajá, y Christopher, uh -huh. sí. Sí. Ya, yeah. ok, entonces ahí no hay problema. Sí, de Nicken. Y de Christopher, sí, no hay problema. ¿Alguien más que tenga duda? Besara, yo y mi compañero. 
Ya, ok. Ok, Jack. ¿Lista? Yes, go ahead. Sí, compañera. Ya, ya. How about William? They told my, my dad you are remodeling your bedroom. Yes, but I kept expanding my wardrobe. But your bed is not very big. You won't have space? Yes, that's why. I hope it tools are really nice. A ver, okay, era Jack with William. Sí, pero eso era mi compañero, se le fue en internet. Okay, Jack, no problem, no te preocupes, ya que chipa, ¿no? Sí, ya. Yeah. Ok. Ok, chicos, entonces continuamos to the next class. ¿Les parece bien? ¿Do you um, agree? Teacher. Tenme, María. Teacher, también me gustaría. El problema es que mi compañera mm. no vino. Eh, luego, cuando me era normal. Ya, no hay problema. Mm -hmm. Ok, teacher. Dale, sí, sí, sí. <laughs> Hi, Fernanda. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. I just recently moved. Oh, do you like your new apartment? Yes, I do. I looked her a photo of the bathroom. Whoa, that's a big shower. Yes, and there's a big mirror too. Oh, that. Oh, micro. Oh, that's good. Are there three bedrooms? Yes, there are the small bedrooms in my office. I have my desk and bookcase in there. Well, it's a great apartment. Do you want a roommate? Yes, I do, because you can help me pay to rent. Of course, I'd like to give you some company. Thanks. Okay, uh, we talk better later. See you later. See you. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Okay, Luciana, go ahead. Uh, teacher, con mi compañero Albert Avila, eh, vamos a hacer la conversación. Okay, Lucy. Eh, Albert, ¿sí estás listo? Sí. Ok. Eh, do you like your new apartment? Yes, I do. Look, here is a photo of a shower. Wow, that's a big shower. Uh, yes, um, here is a, a big mirror. Oh, that's good. Are there three bedrooms? Yes, there are. The small bedroom is my office, and I have my desk and my bookcase in there. Well, it's a great apartment. Do you want a roommate? And thank you, teacher. Thank you, Luciana. That's good. ¿Alguien más que desee presentar? Ok. Ok, jóvenes, nos quedamos hasta ahí entonces. Profesora, eh, ah, mi compañero, ¿podemos participar? La última. Yes, no problem, André. Yeah. Okay. Sí, yes. Yes. Yeah. And yes, sir. Let's go. Uh, do you like your new apartment? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, look, here's a photo of my 
living room. Wow, uh, that's big TV. Yes, and there is a big booth too. Oh, that's good. Are there three bedrooms? Yes, there are. And the small bedroom is for visitors and the other is for me and my roommate. Well, it's a big apartment. Uh, do you want other roommate? And yes, I I will to live with other person. Seriously. Yes. Thank you guys. Another volunteers, another couple. Okay, chicos. Entonces nos quedamos hasta ahí. Sí, profesor, está bien. Nos vemos el la otra semana, yes, teacher. Okay, thank you for your time. Bye bye. See you in the next class, the next Monday. Listo, profesor. Goodbye, teacher. Okay, ready? Goodbye. See you.